So you might have noticed that this is a 1080p video. That means the resolution of the video is 1920 by 1080 pixels, also known as Full HD. But the P in 1080p doesn't actually stand for pixels, it stands for progressive. But videos aren't always progressive, they can also be interlaced. If this would be an interlaced video, we'd call it 1080i. But what is the difference between a progressive and an interlaced video? And which one's better? Let's go back to the basics. A video is obviously just a bunch of images, aka frames, that are played back very rapidly. Now this seems very straightforward, but there is a twist. Let's say we've got a screen that has a resolution of 9 by 6 pixels. I know, that's an awful resolution, but it makes it easier to understand. And we've got a bunch of video frames that are going to be played back. Now, what you might expect to happen when you click play is that the first frame appears on the screen, and then the second one, and then the third one, and so on. But actually, that's not how it goes. In the real world, the frames are scanned onto the screen like this, line by line. This is called progressive scanning. If you have a 50 frames per second progressive video, that means every second 50 frames are scanned onto the screen just like this. The problem with this is that if you need to, let's say, broadcast a very high resolution video over a cable connection, scanning all of those pixels every second won't work out very well. Therefore, there is another scanning method that significantly reduces the amount of information in the video, without affecting the quality that much. Here's how it works. Let's just click play again in the example. Now, as you can see, instead of scanning the frames entirely, every other line is skipped which means the required throughput of the cable connection is cut down by 50%. The video quality, on the other hand, remains quite good. This method is called interlaced scanning, and it's simply a clever method to cut down the video size without ruining the visual quality. Now, these days, we don't actually use interlacing anymore, and that's because of two main reasons. First of all, the technology now allows us to deal with high-resolution, progressive video. You're actually watching one right now. We simply don't need interlacing anymore. And also, modern displays like LCDs physically don't support interlaced video. You can play an interlaced video on an LCD, but that's just because the video gets converted to progressive by a computer in real time. So, in conclusion, Progressive is better than interlaced, and since these days there is no good reason why you should use interlaced, always go the progressive way. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.